the St. Mary Parish. A special welcome to any guests or first-time visitors. This is your church, and we are happy to celebrate with you. We ask that everyone take a moment to ensure all electronic devices are off or silenced. We will be collecting today for the Holy Father's annual Peter's Pence campaign. These funds are crucial in enabling Pope Francis to carry out his campaign of works of mercy, a campaign we are all obligated to participate in, and is at the core of the love that defines the Catholic life. In today's gospel, the Lord commands the wind and the sea to be calm and asks his companions, why are you terrified? Do you not yet have faith? It is challenging to invest absolute faith in the Lord, particularly during the stormy times in our lives. We must try to remember that God has a plan, knows what is best, and wants good things for us. Even in the most difficult moments, we have a loving Father who assures us He is present and asks us to have faith. Let us pray for the grace in all situations, no matter how dire, to let go and let God's will be done. Our celebrant today is Father Beck. Please stand and welcome those around you.
For you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm on, on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. reading from the book of Job. The Lord addressed Job out of the storm and said, Who shut within doors the sea when it burst forth from the womb? When I made the clouds its garment and thick dark darkness its swaddling bands. When I set limits for it and fastened the bar of its door and said, Thus far you shall come but no farther. And here Shall your proud waves be stilled? The word of the Lord. Yet now we 
know him so no longer. So whoever is in Christ is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, new things have come. The word of the Lord. Everything. 
when they were on the top of their game, they didn't need to call on Jesus. But when they were at the low end of their game, they called on Jesus because they were afraid. Is it the same with us? In our journey of life, spiritually, when everything went well, we didn't bother to call on Jesus, to call on Mary, to call on anyone because we were on the top of our game. But then life isn't always smooth sailing. So when we are at the low point of our game, we turn around and ask, my boat is filling with water. The wind is strong. I do not have the tail wind, but I have a strong wind, a head wind going against me. Who can I get help? Where is Jesus? And then we, we wake up and begin the, uh, to realize that we can cross the sea of life alone. We need Jesus, but he is sleeping. The disciples realized that, so they came to Jesus and asked Jesus, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? Jesus didn't say anything. He showed his power over the sea. Be quiet. Be still. And then he asked the question, why are you terrified? Do you not yet have faith? Let us pause for a second here at this scene and see that the people, the, the disciples came to Jesus and asked the question, do you not care if we are perishing? Have we asked Jesus many times, don't you care about me? Don't you care? Don't you know what I have been through? And where were you? We ask that question because we, we feel that we are so alone. The sea is so big. The wind is so powerful. The wave is high and violent. And we want the assurance that someone is accompanying us who is more powerful than the, the wind, the wave, and the sea that can help us do to paddle the boat across the sea of life to the, the other side. The reason why the disciples were so afraid, we can go back to the first one, the second reading today. As St. Paul said, whoever is in Christ is a new creation. The disciples were in the boat with Jesus, with Jesus, but they were not in Christ yet. And so that's why on the boat, Jesus was sleeping and they were struggling with the wave, the wind, and everything else. <clears throat> Had they been in Christ, just as St. Paul said, they were new, they became new creation, and then they would be sleeping with Jesus, whether the wind is, uh, is there or not, the wave is there or not. It doesn't matter anymore. So Jesus posed the question, when they encountered the great wave, and Jesus also posed a question to you and me, that do you, do you not yet have faith? Why are you terrified? My dear brothers and sisters, we often speak about a journey of faith, but what is faith? Anyway, what is faith? Of 
often when we are on the top of our games, we do not ask that question, what is faith? What is my faith? But when we are at the low end of our game, we start asking the question, where is God? What is faith? What does it mean at this moment? I remember at the end of the uh, his pontificate, uh, Pope, the late Pope Benedict XVI, um, the, at the end of the, um, the conclusion of the Lenten retreat in Rome for the Roman, the Roman Curia, Pope Benedict XVI said this about faith. <coughs> faith is nothing other than a touch of the hands of God in the night of the world. So in the silence, for us to see, love, and to hear His word. I want you to live this church today with that phrase. Faith is not faith other than a touch of God's hand in the night of the world and in the silence so that we can hear his word and see his love. In the night, that night of our faith, and then faith is the longing for that touch of God's hand to pat us on the shoulder and say, be still and know that I am God. Everything will be okay. And in the night of the world, and in the silence of our heart, so that we can hear the word of God patting, caring for us, and to see his deep love for us, so that we are not afraid I believe in God, Father Almighty, the Creator of heaven and earth, and of all things, this world and the I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only God, the Son of God, born of the Father, who are all of the ages, God from God, life from life, true God, true God, begotten and mighty, and substantial of the Father, through Him all things are made Prosperous man and prosperous salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was a new heaven and by the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sins, he was crucified and crucified by the He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day. He had torments for the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and he seated at the right hand. He will come, will come and again and to the church and, and his and kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, Spirit the Lord, the giver of life, who, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored over the Father, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy God who transforms the church. I confess the mountains and the Father to Jesus. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen.
turn to you, Lord, with humble hearts and with the knowledge that you and you alone have power over all things. And so we present these petitions. For the church, may Pope Francis be strengthened, protected, and be closely led by the Holy Spirit in all matters. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our nation, may all Americans take the command to love one another's neighbor to heart. May we see and hear each other with interest and respect, allowing us to unify to overcome issues which impact all of humanity. And may America stand as a champion of peace and dignity for all on earth. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. For peace on earth. May conflicts be resolved, especially the war in Ukraine and Gaza. May those impacted by war be comforted and cared for. And may all people be granted a life with no fear of war and filled with human dignity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. For the participants, volunteers, and staff involved in Vacation Bible Camp, may they be granted safety, experience joy, May the experience be spiritually uplifting and rewarding for all participants. And may God bless the joint effort of St. Mary and St. Johnny churches. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, especially Eddie Brady and Christiane Canines. May they be comforted and strengthened by the healing power of our Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Richard and Fabio, may their families be comforted and be lifted up by the love of our community, and may they enjoy the eternal peace and love in the presence of the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of Kenneth Owen Daly, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we know you have power over all things, that you command the wind and the sea, and they obey. Hear and answer these prayers in accordance with your holy will, through Christ our Lord. Amen.
sacrifice than yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that cleansed by this action, we may make offering of a heart pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you lay the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You form man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonders to rule in your name over all you have made, and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. Amen. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration, we are glad. Mystery of faith. Partaking of the body and blood of Christ 
we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Michael our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be poor heirs of eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and
let us pray. We you and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.